you said that everybody is free in Uganda, and yet you, as Internal Affairs Minister, in March presented a list to Parliament of 177 people who are under military detention. And later, President Museveni said at least 50 people had been arrested for treasonable acts of opposition. Is this the sign of freedom to you? Uh, uh, Larry, l l let me first of all congratulate you for the good job at the CNN and actually for finding a suit that looks like mine. You are doing a good job. Uh, but I would like to remind you where you come from. You are just from here, Kenya. Okay? And where you come from, you know, you don't ask such questions to the government. So I will give you another chance, uh, Larry, and uh, please rephrase your question and ask uh, uh, with a bit of decorum now, knowing that you are addressing a government official. What do you consider treasonous acts? Is it, it being part of the opposition? A treasonous act is organizing to try and build an alternative government to that of President Museveni. A treasonous act is opposing President Museveni a treasonous act. Larry, you are insisting on the issue of treasonous, and I would like to uh, get, out, get done with it. One, the government had said categorically that there are places that are meant to be tree zones. And so when people went into the tree zones, they were known as tree zoners. And now when we say that the people have committed tree zoners acts, it means that they have gone and in actually invaded the tree zones. And there's nothing wrong with the government saying that people have invaded the tree zones. And I don't see how the tree zoners are affecting the coming of the Afghanistan uh, refugees here in Uganda. And Larry, I want to remind you again that when a verb comes before a noun and the pronoun and the verb is a product of the noun that comes before the adverb, then it means that the proverb is also a pronoun and a product of the noun that comes before it. So the three zoners issues... Uh